Today, I'm gonna to be making some chocolate chip pumpkin cheesecake sugar cookie bars. Uh, these, uh, we're gonna go over the ingredients first and uh, then I'll show you what you do. Uh, you need one 16.5 ounce package of refrigerated sugar cookie dough. And so that's what that looks like. I bought the Pillsbury. Then you need 12 ounces of cream cheese softened. And if you forget to lay out your cream cheese early, then like in the Philadelphia, in the, on the inside it gives you tips and how to soften the cream cheese. You just uh, take it out of the package completely and you microwave it on high for 10 seconds. So that's what you do. So, but you need uh, 12 ounces of cream cheese softened. You need three fourths cup of sugar, one egg, one teaspoon of vanilla, three fourths teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice. And I left that out so you could see. I just bought the, uh, the Kroger brand of pumpkin pie spice. Then you need a half cup of pumpkin, not the pie filling, uh, just the pumpkin. And then you need a half a cup of chocolate chips. And I just use the Nestle Toll House chocolate chips. Uh, you want to preheat your oven to 350, and then you want to line a, a nine, a 13 by 9 inch baking pan with parchment paper. And I just use chip clips to keep my parchment paper in place. And, um, and then, I, of course, you remove those, um, remove those uh, clips before you bake. Uh, so you're going to take your uh, sugar cookie dough, and you're going to take... Uh, two thirds of the sugar cookie dough. So, about this much, probably. Let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this open. And you're gonna press it into the bottom of this pan. So, it's gonna be about right here. And press it into the bottom of this pan. So this is going to be the crust for your bars. And once I know my paper isn't going to move any, I'll just take these off. And it's just going to make a, a thin crust. So this pan, um, this is, uh, we call this our lasagna pan. So if you're wondering exactly uh, what size pan a 9 by 13 is, it's, it's a lasagna pan. Using my fingers to do this because it makes it a lot easier. Just know that this is a very, very thin layer. But this is the cookie dough you have left. So next you want to move over to your electric mixer and you want to take your cream cheese and you want to combine it with your sugar. We're gonna take our egg and your vanilla and your pumpkin pie spice and then your your actual pumpkin add it to this too i might have to lift this up to get the pumpkin i don't want to get it everywhere there we go <laughs> that was easy and now combine this is now smooth and I did scrape the bowl down um, in between to make sure that um, that there was nothing stuck to the sides so you're gonna take this and you're gonna spread it over the top of your uh, sugar cookie dough So now you take the remainder of your dough and in little, um, in very small pieces, you crumble it over the top. Okay, now you take your uh, chocolate chips. And I guess you could use any uh, chips you wanted to. You could use uh, white chocolate or butterscotch, if you have butterscotch or caramel or uh, cinnamon, or you could use, uh, there's lots of different flavors that you could use of chips, but I just chose to use chocolate chips. 
and you're going to bake this for 30 to 40 minutes. I will go right in the middle. I'm gonna set my timer for uh, 35 minutes and then we'll be back. This is how they look after baking for 35 minutes. Now what you want to do is let them cool completely on a, um, a little rack. Uh, let them cool completely and then you want to uh, put the pan in the refrigerator for at least two hours. Uh, that'll help the bars to uh, set up. And then once you, after you've cut them into bars, um, then you want to st actually store them in the refrigerator. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna let them cool completely, put them in the refrigerator, and then when I get ready to slice them into bars, I'll show them to you. We'll sh we'll, uh, I'll show you how easy it comes out of this pan. Well, this has been in the refrigerator for several hours, like it's supposed to be. So I'm gonna lift the whole thing up over to here. And now I'm going to uh, cut this into bars. And it's a, it's a thin, it's a very thin dessert. There we go. Okay, so let's see. So that is how they look. Looks very nice and neat. Um, and like I said, you're supposed to store them in the refrigerator. So now uh, we'll take them over to the table and give it a try. Okay, these made 18 bars. Um, and so we're just gonna give it a try. They're awfully done, I have Okay. One. The broken one. You could definitely eat that with pork too. Mm-hmm. It tastes like pumpkin pie. That is delicious. Mm -hmm. I don't know if the little chips add much to it. They add a different texture. Mm -hmm. But the pumpkin and pumpkin spice is kind of strong. Gosh, that's so delicious. So you don't really get the chocolate flavor? Oh, that's pretty good. No, you don't. Mm -hmm. So, mm. the chocolate chips dress it up. They make it look pretty, but honestly, besides adding a little bit of texture to it, it truly doesn't add much flavor mm. at all. You could add some white chips to it though, I and think make it, like a whipped creamy mm -hmm. kind of flavor if you mix those in. Yes, that's what I would do. If I were to make this again, I would use white chips. And a little bit more of them too. The chop. <laughs> So, <laughs> of course. I won't be able to taste them. So instead of a half a cup, you might use three fourths, or you might even use a whole cup. A cup might be too much, but so a little three bit. fourths of a cup. Yeah, but I would use the white chips. I would like to try that out because it would be. I think it'd be neat. In my last bite, I got a. I ended in my mouth. I ended on a piece of chocolate. I did too. So I did taste it. I did too, but it so, was the very last thing I ate. Literally. Exactly. So. When you're eating it with the pumpkin, you really just taste the pumpkin. Uh, and the chocolate, yeah, it's an afterthought. But I think with white chips, it would be absolutely delicious. Mm. So It reminds me of pumpkin pie a lot. So if you like pumpkin pie already, you'll like this. And this was so simple though. Well, I mean, this crazy. was easy to do. You mm. know, you're buying that yeah, really pre-made, no, you're buying pre-made sugar cookie dough. So you're not doing anything with that. You're buying the can of pumpkin. Uh, and really, yeah, it's not expensive yeah. at all. The cream cheese probably was one of the most expensive probably. things that cookie dough. Yeah, <laughs> but you could buy, we bought Philadelphia brand. You could buy a Walmart brand if you wanted mm -hmm. to. I just wanted to get Philadelphia brand. But yeah, it wasn't it wasn't hard at all. And I, I think uh, that if you like pumpkin already, you're going to love these pumpkins. Which bars. I love pumpkin. Yeah. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Let us know if you try it out for yourself. And thanks for watching.